Hey YouTube, it's been a while. Uh, Kaz Emperor Dragons here, bringing you a display case of the Magnificent Mavens uh, for opening it on screen <laughs> so you guys can see it. Uh, been, not to say out the game, just haven't done many profiles and stuff in a while. Wasn't quite sure about previous formats, this format, probably even less sure, but I was kind of like, this set looks very good and probably one of the best sets of the year in terms of the cards that are in it. So you've got the Shizu stuff, you got reprints, you've got the Sky Striker stuff. So there is a lot of value in this one. So obviously this is the UK display case. So we get six of these little boxes that come with sleeves. So let's just get rid of that. So you can see we've got four there and then another two. So I'm just going to open up all these, get all the packs out, and then we can open up the packs in one go. What we do is we'll open one together, so you can kind of see what's in the boxes. So you get this pack of sleeves, so these are the Kari sleeves. So I think this is actually more sought after by the players, so that's a good pull. I think they've got like a 4 to £5 pound resale value, and you get four packs in the physical box. So let's... So that's what you physically get in the box. So I'm going to open up all the boxes and get all the packs out. There you go. That's everything open. So we've got 24 packs to go through and we've got six pack of sleeves. So we've got two Kagari. We actually got two of the Engage. Uh, one on the Mayakashi uh, and another Mayakashi. So not bad. In terms of products, quite nice that Konami are trying to do one that comes with the sleeves. Uh, personally, I don't think the sleeves qualities are very good but you can double sleeve them and it'll look after them for longer. But anyway, let's get into the packs, because that's what everyone's here for. Um, I'm hoping to pull a Pharaoh's Rare, but you never know. Let's see. Okay, first one, we've got the Sky Striker, the Hamp. This is their sort of Kaiju. Blast Held by Dusty. That's one of the Shiju's traps. Um, Shiru, Server Kepler, and Mayakashi Return. So, nothing great in that one. Let's see, next pack. There you go, and it's Shizu Car, the Keldo of the Sacred Protection. Uh, so if I remember, this is the one that shuffles back. So you banish from the field of graveyard, target up three cards in the graveyards, or up to five if you've got exchange experience, and shuffle them into the deck. And that's a quick effect, so that's pretty good. So it's also an emer uh, emergence. Nice reprint. Dark Soul token. Goes a match, looks nice. Uh, Witchcrafter Genny. Not bad. Okay, so we got one. Now, if I remember correctly, the shuffle back ones have probably lost their value from the pre-orders, but you never know. All right, Pendulum Call. <laughs> Another Keldo. So there you go, that's two. Cat Shark, great reprint. Hero Lives, and Beautiful Princess. This was a stupidly expensive card for no reason, so that's a very welcome reprint. All right, last pack from the first box that we looked at. Lightning Storm. Well, hey, Ice Dragon's Prison, nice reprint. Legendary Ocean, Umi, nice. Uh, Mayakashi card and Light Imprisoning Mirror, not bad at all. Okay, moving on to packs on the next box. Got an Ice Dragon's Prison, Iris Sword Soil, Chaos Hunter, nice. I think one of the Mayakashi ones, and Sorcerer Tae. Finally, an upgrade to this card, much needed. Okay, next pack. <laughs> Agito. So this is the ones that are going up in price. So this is the one, if you mill it, you get to mill five cards. So that's pretty good. Uh, Mayakashi Link. Nightmare Cerberus. Phil, well, Spell. And Ethereum Ball as an ultra rare. Not bad. Okay, next pack. Okay, what have we got? The Witchcraft of Fusion, Gravekeeper's Trap, that's good. Another Witchcraft of Genny, Soul Soul of Strife, and another Beautiful Princess. Beautiful, is it? Beautiful. Okay, last pack from the second box. We've got the Mayakashi Trap card. Millennia is Restrict, nice, very good reprint, much needed. Witchcraft of Creation, Light Imprisoning Mirror. And Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Nice. Okay. Next box. 
Okay, we've got Sky Striker Linkage. So this is probably one of the newer cards for the set. Um, if you got don't control anything in Monster Zone, you can special summon out a Sky Striker Ace Monster from your extra deck. So pretty good card. Uh, Arion, this is one of the new Striker Sky Striker cards as well. Widow Anchor, uh, Soul Soul Shenging, nice. Uh, Draco back, very nice ultra rare print. Nice upgrade to that. Okay, next pack. Triple Tactics Talent. Very nice. Great reprint. Medora the Sword Oracle. There you go. Another Shizu card. Happy days. Dark Calling. Witchcraft Ageni. And Riola. I think it's their first reprint as well. Nice. Okay, next pack. Okay, we've got Appalooza, the reprint, very nice. With This came as a gold red, the old art, which everyone was a bit disappointed with because this art actually looks really nice. It's quite nice to actually get in a good ultra rare. That's great. Uh, Soul Soul Iris, Iris Soul Soul, sorry. And Soul Soul Strife, Doomdozer, uh, nice. And Blackout, much needed update for Blackout. Cool. And last part, last pack of this box. I'm about halfway through the display. So we've got Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, nice. Black Lust the Soldier Chaos. Soldier of Chaos, sorry. Much needed reprint. Anti Spell Fragrance. Nightmare Phoenix. And Dragon Maid Changeover. Oh, nice upgrade to Dragon Maid decks. Okay. Third box. Sky Striker Ace Zeke. <laughs> Yadagrasu. Welcome back. Probably won't never be played. <laughs> Uh, Omi Binmaru, Soul Sweeper, nice. Uh, Soul Soul Supreme Sovereign Shenging, uh, Witchcrafter Hain. Okay, so nothing really in that box, uh, pack, sorry. Okay, Black Luster Soldier of Envoy, very nice. Harpy's Feather Luster, that is a very lovely reprint, very good art. Magician's Restage, Changeover. And Sacred Summit. Ah, oh, another good upgrade. This was a super before, so nice. Okay. Okay. Got a third Keldo. That's good. That's probably why it's dropped in price. Really easy to pull. Blast Hell by Destiny. Another one. Dark Calling. Shadow Imprisoning. Scapegoat. Looks nice. Okay, last pack from this box. Uh, so we haven't pulled any Kelbex yet. Change of Heart, lovely. Witchcrafter Confusion, Anti Spell Fragrance, uh, Sky Striker Shark Cannon, and another Viola. Cool. All right. Down to the last two boxes packs. Okay, we've got a Skill Drain. Or hey, another good reprint. P Pendulum Call, Theory and Ball, another Goza Match. And Ospice Chinion, the one that no one plays. Okay, Source Hold Emergence. So there's definitely a Source Hold Pox. Another skill drain, nice. Uh, Multi Roll. Exchange of Spirit, that's a, another card. And Source Hold Assessment. I think this was a common before. Okay, next pack. Ah, another Gito, nice. This is our second one. Trap Chixera, much needed reprint. G Golem Token. Beria Agnista, much needed. I think this came as a rare and it was short printed. It was one of the last core sets that actually had the short prints. And Mayakashi Return. Okay, last pack. Yeah, so the only one, she's a card I've not seen, is the Kelbeck. Another Triple Tactics Talent, lovely. Sky Striker Zeke. Light and Prismian Mirror, Scapegoat, and Sky Striker Ace Ray. Okay. So, pretty good set if you're looking to try and build a very cheap deck of Sky Striker or Sword Soul. Uh, okay. Um, Draco Necro, Never This Old Dragon. The fourth Keldo. Secret Ridge of the Spellcasters. Nice, good reprint. Another Chaos Hunter, and an Elder NT Entis. That's a good one. Yeah, if you're looking to play Sword Souls, problem is in this format, I don't think you'll keep up too much. 
Uh, Soul Soul Murray, nice. The first one we've seen. Boral Soul Dragon, first one we've seen of that as well. Vampire's Curse, a Mizuki, and another Hayate. I can't remember last I've seen balls all being played in the formats. Okay, Cypher Dragon Rev System, another Truck Trick Sarah, another Exchange of the Spirit, a first Suzuku, and Predaprant Ambulamidilis. This should have come as foil, I think, when it came printed in Dimension Force. I think it came out on the one set before, but that's a good print if you're playing the Predaprant stuff. Okay, last pack. We haven't seen a Pharaoh, eh? Right? So. Let's hope. Got an hour on. Exchange of Despair and Hope. Theory on Duke Yule. Widow Anchor. Last card is a Mayakashi. Nah. Okay. So, form one display. How many of these shoes of cards did we get? So, of the traps, we've got two of the Exchange of Spirit, one of the Exchange of Hope. Uh, we got Blast, I think we got two of. And then you got one of the actual Grave Fuker's Trap, so that's not too bad. I think we got four of the Keldo. That's good, got trade value there. I got two of the Agido. And one of the Medora. So it's not bad, you know, considering Izu Call was going for about 230 pre-sale, because no one knew what the pull rates would be. It's actually not a pad. I've got got half, and obviously all of the rest. So not a bad set. Very good set. Very good reprint set. Um, if you've got the money, definitely recommend picking up a display if you can. You know, really nice packs. Good product. You know, the sleeves can be nice. What we can do is we we'll, can open up. Ah, we'll keep one of the engages. Let's open it up. Now, what I was worried about with this product is, with the sleeves, is that even though they look very nice, it's how do they actually fit around the cards. Okay, so it's not too bad. Get, it feels like there's a lot of room in there. The card sits quite in. It feels bumpy. Don't know if you can see that, but... It doesn't feel smooth, and I'll give you an example. So if I compare that to a dragon shield, the dragon shield's flat and feels more sturdy, whereas this feels quite bumpy. It doesn't actually feel like it'll protect my cards, where I feel like this one will. So yeah. Oh well, that's my opinion on the sleeves. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the pack video opening video. Please like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.